Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids, and what I've got here is the QNAP TurboNAS TS251. This is a two-bay network attached storage device, very nicely designed. I've covered QNAP devices on the channel before. What this allows you to do is populate the two drive bays on the front here with either three and a half inch or two and a half inch drives and then you can use these in various different RAID configurations to store all of your files in a central location uh, and then access them across multiple devices. So you could put all of your photos on here, for example, or video files or just general documents, and then you can access those on perhaps a laptop, a desktop, or maybe even share the files around a small office or with other members of the family. So you can all store your files in one central location. You've also got the added benefit, of course, that you can have this in a RAID configuration where the drive data in bay one is actually mirrored to the drive data in bay two. Now the front of the device, very nicely laid out. We've got some status and activity LED lights up the top section here, the main power on off button. We've also got a USB three socket here and a copy button. So you can actually place a thumb drive in here, for example, push the button, it'll copy the data across to the internal drive. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, this is the TS251. You can get two different models of this, either with one gigabyte of RAM or indeed with two gigabytes of RAM, and it accommodates up to two drives, either three and a half inch SATA or two and a half inch SATA drives. If we look on the side of the device, you can see the sort of footprint, just a little bit larger than a three and a half inch hard drive, and it's got some nice ventilation slots across the front. I do like the TS251, it's got a nice white finish, like an Arctic white finish, so if you're into that sort of aesthetic in your setup, this will fit in very nicely. So if we look around the back, you can see it's really well laid out. We've got a small fan at the top here. This is used to keep the internal components cool. We've got Kensington locks. So we can tether this down to a desk if we need to. And then we've got some sockets at the side here. So we've got the power input here for the included power adapter. We've got another USB 3 socket, a couple of USB 2 sockets, and you use these for adding extra devices. A couple of gigabit Ethernet sockets to attach this to your network. And then we've also got an HDMI socket, and this is really nice because the TS251, as with some other models in the QNAP range, actually transcodes full HD video files on the fly. And you can play 1080p videos with 7.1 channel surround sound support passed through this HDMI output. Now, some people have asked me in my previous videos to include the actual dimensions of these NAS devices. And that's a very good point because you need to know it's going to fit into your actual setup. The actual height of this is 168.5 millimeters. It's 102 millimeters wide and 225 millimeters in depth from front to back. Now I've shown you in previous videos just how easy it is to actually set up your NAS device. And it's the same with this one, very, very easy. A really nice user interface for changing all of your settings and setting up exactly how you want it. Now there are integrated services and apps already installed on here and you can further extend the functionality by installing more. You've got things like file station, backup station, and then multimedia uh, orientated apps, things like photo station, music station, video station, which really allow you to use this as a media server. And then you can further extend that with things like surveillance station where you can install IP cameras and actually monitor them and have them record to the internal hard drives to give you security in your home or your small office. And then there's also the app center, which allows you to install even more apps for even greater functionality. So not only is the QNAP TS251 actually a really good central storage location for all of your files, but it just does so much more. You can install these apps and really make this a very useful device rather than just what some people would term as a sort of semi-redundant box just for storing files and accessing them on multiple computers. That by itself for me, because I really do rely on NAS devices for my backup strategy and also for my day-to-day -day workflow is good enough. But the fact that I can install apps as well, it's really just like the icing on the cake or the cherry on top. You know, there's so many things you can do with the TS251 if you really explore uh, what's available on that app center. 
So that's it for this video. This is the QNAP TS251. If you're looking for a really affordable, good performance NAS device, then this is well worth checking out. I'll leave links to where you can check out the full specification on the QNAP website, also to where you can purchase one of these in the video description. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do hit that like button and I'll see you all in the next video.